So, I've got a pack of 18 Canadian Nightcrawlers and I want to turn them glowing radioactive green. I ordered this from Amazon for I think 15 bucks, something like that. Oh, supposedly if you put this on your worms, it'll turn them neon green. I got this from Walmart, I'm gonna put them together and I just really wanna test it out. So this is called Worm Glow, turns live worms chartreuse, increases the size of live worms, makes live worms more active, extends life of worms, and environmentally friendly. I don't think it's toxic, but I'm not trying it. <laughs> I wonder if it'll turn my poop green. Okay, we're gonna put it in this just for demonstration purposes so we can see the worms. These are big fat worms. And Canadian Nightcrawlers, I, I think they're the fattest, biggest, Nightcrawler out there. Let's put in a spoonful right now. Whoa! What? Look at the color of this. It's like orange. Look at that. What if I don't do it evenly? Will just some of them be that color? Oh my gosh. It's already turning them green. Whoa! Look at that! They're turning green already! That looks nuts! Okay, so now I'm supposed to wait one to three days. Uh, I'm gonna put it in a dark area for a little bit. I'm gonna be checking in on this, on this pile of worms every five hours or so, and I'll be taking you guys along to show you guys what happens. Okay, it has been five hours. I'm checking the worms now, and it has a little bit of green. Not much. I don't see that bright chartreuse yet. We're gonna check in probably in another five, 10 hours. Okay, we're on hour 12. They're definitely starting to look green. Look at that, some of them have turned green. Oh yeah. Okay, this is hour, I think 30 or so. Like this is over 24 hours and they're definitely green now. I mean, look at them, they're definitely green. All right guys, it's been like two days now. I mean, look at this. Look how green they are. They're like neon green. So now let's take this fish in. Whoa, look at how green these worms are. They're like, they're like glowing green radioactive worms. Two days ago, they were regular colored. So now let's see if it works for, to catch some fish. I think that the actual green of this will attract the fish more. I don't know, let's, let's see, let's see. I've never used green worms like this. So I'm putting it on a little hook like this. I'm gonna try and catch some perch. I wanna show you guys a really awesome tool that we just got from Deeper. This is their new Chirp sonar. Uh, you guys have seen me use the Pro Plus before, but the Chirp is even more accurate. We've got it on this new kayak mount. I'll get a very precise reading of what is swimming under this water. And it, it goes right to my phone. The interesting part about the Deeper the chirp is that it has three different settings, one wide, one medium, and one narrow cone. And these cones shows you different amounts of information. Only portable sonar with chirp technology. And we are some of the first people to try this out. We're so excited. I don't think it's even released yet in America. Thank you Deeper for sending this to us. We're gonna use this to find our bait fish. All right, got my Deeper here. I'm just gonna paddle and look around. I'm gonna find schools of bait and I wanna see if I can find some striped bass in between. Oh yes, look at, oh my gosh. You can see all these fish on the bottom right here. There's a lot of fish hugging the bottom right here at 12 feet, Aaron. You could just drop it straight down here. Oh my gosh, more at eight feet. That's another pot of bait fish. But we're looking for these big arches. Big arches under these bait fish, and that will be the striped bass chasing them. Radioactive worm on the hook. There we go. And I've got it on a bait holder hook too, so even better. It's about 16 feet, and we were marking fish at like Eight, nine feet. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, I got one. I got one. Perfect. This is a perfect live lining size. I'm gonna put this guy out for a striped bass soon. 
Nice. I gotta get more. There's Aaron. What the heck? This thing just came off. I got a bite and missed it now. Oh my gosh. These look so nice. Oh, look at that. It's a puff of green when you put it in the water. I'm gonna bite instantly, I bet you anything. Instant bite, look at that. Instantly. Number two, oh, this is a spot. This is a good one. Spots are great for striped bass. I'm on. Oh yeah. Aaron, these are perfect size. Look at these. Anything over there? I saw some fish busting right here. I had to resist, I had to resist all urges to, to switch my bait and stick with my perch tactic. Where did you see them? They're busting right here. Just just cast your bucktail. And that's a good idea. You change your bucktail from, from a from a top water to bucktail too. This is not necessarily the best top. Oh, I got another bite. These green worms work so well. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. These green worms. I've been here for like five minutes. I'm almost done getting my bait. Yep, the fish is still here. Whoa. This is a nice, this is a nice fight. I'm gonna let it tire out. I'm pretty sure this is a big stinky catfish. Oh my gosh, it's a big catfish. Look at that bend. Look at that bend. Oh, <laughs> it's pulling my rod in the water. Oh my gosh. It's a strong cat. What if it was a striper? That would be so awesome. But there's no way, there's no way. What if it's like a big carp? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. I cannot lose this guy. I gotta see what he is. I gotta see what he is. Oh, I see him, I see him moving around down there. I think it's a cat. I see, it's, he's coming up, he's coming up. It's a cat. It's a cat. Woo! Oh my gosh, it feels much bigger because I'm using six pound line here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Would you look at that? All right, I'm actually going to release this guy now. Oops, it's gone. All right. Aaron, you're gonna catch some bait fish for us now. I gotta tie up another rod for striped bass. Okay, just hook it like that. Cast it out and let it swim. This is my favorite way to catch fish. Live lining, just like this. I casted my spot way over there and now it's moving all the way to the left and this is not a brand new spot this is a half a live spot so I'm, I'm kind of confused there might be a fish on it because it swam all the way over here and it was pretty dead when I brought it back maybe it found another burst of energy or something I think I got a bite I think I got a bite I'm letting it eat it. On. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Look at that. Oh, gone. Spat it. All right, I'm done fishing for the day. The tide is pretty much gone. It's very slack. No more fish. I missed my shot at the striped bass. I lost it at the boat, whatever. It was a great day. I'm actually really happy that the, the green worms worked. 
Aaron agrees, they worked excellently. I really liked how they looked, how they felt, and I think that this green actually really will attract fish more so than the regular colored worms. The deeper chirp really helped us pinpoint where those bait fish were, and we were able to catch a lot of them. You need to be able to predict where you think the fish will be, and this tool really helps you get on them. If you wanted to try out the deeper chirp for yourself, I'll include a link in the description. Who has their own deeper? Is it helpful for you? Let us know in the comments below. If you guys want to see more adventures, give us a subscribe. And don't forget to push that little notification bell because that'll alert you every time we put up a new episode. Here at Hey Skipper, we want to inspire people to get outside. Get outside and play. If we're doing it, you guys can do it. We've got all sorts of tutorials, ebooks, and different guides on our website that I have personally written to help you guys get on fish. If you want to help support our channel, check out our ebooks, check out our online store, check out our merchandise. Every penny we make goes right back into teaching you guys how to fish. So thank you everyone for your support. It was awesome to see you guys again. I'll see you next week.